Welcome back to the second game between Juan and Winchester. And look at this, interesting civilizations. Uh, Winchester picking Celts here, like uh, you would expect him to do in game three. And uh, Juan picking Byzantines, as both players did in game one. And this is uh, like, like a mixture between game one and what may be game three. Mm, we've seen Celts for a lot of times, so wouldn't be a real surprise here. Um, let's see what players are going to do here. I'm interested to see how Winchester is going to play this, because Juan can go for Monkrush if he wants to, but um, and could maybe even um, hit early. Not sure how good Winchester will be able to defend. Uh, of course, Manganels are the thing to go, maybe Scouts. But uh, it's not easy, and if Winchester can go to Imperial Age, I think then it's going to be very hard for the Byzantines. Mm, even with the lead cataphracts or with good monks, with, I don't know, cheap trash, mm, not easy to do. Winchester's again going to get the boar in with the scout, nothing new there. I'm going to start with Juan's map this time. Mm, he's getting deer in already, he's got, where's the deer? He got all of them in already apparently. Uh, did he have three or are they far away? No, there's two more. Mm, I guess that's the first one. Main stone for Juan. Forward, mm, second gold inside, but f um, yeah, on the side, inside it's good. Uh, one relic close, one relic relatively close to him. Um, one relic inside his base, even very nice. Mm, in the back he has the second stone, the main gold. Uh, there's another boar, extra berries actually in his base. So that's not looking too bad. The third gold outside here, but it's okay. Sh map actually pretty good for, for Juan here. He should be happy with that. Let's go for Winchester's map right now. Winchester's got three deer, but in a very awkward position. Mm, he's gonna try and get them in, using the sheep to keep the gate open. Very smart play. We can see one relic here on the side, extra stone on the side, but uh, actually that's in the middle. What a fucking deer, Winchester's saying. Yes, uh, where is one pushing the deer in? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's running around. Mm, I should take it at the middle right now. There we go. Very good, Winchester. Uh, it's just this awkward position, dear. So we never know what's going to happen there. Mm, he will be okay. First deer is on the TC or close to the TC. Uh, what else is there? There's one relic inside his walls, uh, which he might get later on. Mm, second gold outside, an extra gold here on the right hand side. Another extra gold here, a little bit more away, maybe a little bit closer to Juan. Um, main stone from very safe in the back and second stone safe in the back. That's very, very important for Kells. You want to get those elite vote raiders out later on or even vote raiders in Castle Age sometimes. Also the main gold safe in the back and the second gold safe in the back. So also Winchester also should be very happy about his map. Going for five farms. Let's see, Juan has got even six farms here. Mm, not sure if he's going for a monk rush this time. He's got three villages and gold. Market and Blacksmith coming up for him, and um, same thing for, for Winchester here. He's just running back towards the gate. Uh, let's see, yeah, he should be able to get it in, but um, uh, free food is free food, of course, but a little bit late. And uh, clicking up to Castle Age, both players at almost the same time, both players on 29 population, that's 28 villagers. And Juan again with 8 villagers on gold, so he's uh, at least gonna go for 2 monasteries, maybe 3 even. I'm mm, not sure if it's gonna go three monasteries here. Uh, and the semi strategy like, uh, like last game may not be the, the right thing to do because uh, against Celts you have to act differently, I think. The Celts is just too strong in Imperial Age. Mm, so he might uh, go for a push, that's the one option. Or maybe a double monastery, get out a little bit, uh, take the relics, get map control, and then try to boom a little bit better, go earlier to Imperial Age maybe. But it's all, <laughs> it's nice, uh, Winchester's uh, scout is on staying ground, probably to not hit the, the boars before. And now he has to go back, uh, no more hit, and Juan is staying outside, probably a bad idea. Double monastery coming up, and gonna go for monks here, gonna try to get the relics. Can you see all of them? You can see the four relics. I didn't want your luck, sorry for that. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, you can see number five, probably have seen it. But uh, he's not gonna get it. So four relics for Juan. That's expected. We could also see a, a Manganel already. So Winchester is gonna siege workshop up just in case, or does he want to go aggressive? There's a second TC for now. Housed on 40, mm, taking the scout down. Manganel is going back, and Winchester actually getting the the relic in early, mm, doing three monks already. Interesting. He's not gonna be able to get any more uh, more relics, I think, because they're all <laughs> at Winchester's base already. Uh, yeah, but he's going aggressive. Uh, uh, or at least uh, not giving up the fight in Castle Age, but uh, going for it. Sanctity coming in, and Redemption is done for Juan, which is a very important upgrade, so the Manganels are uh, pretty much useless at this point. 
um, monk for Winchester searching for more relics or maybe for this gold. Uh, what does Winchester see from map? He has scouted everything there is to see and um, now staying inside the space because he knows against those Byzantine monks he doesn't really stand a chance with the monks. Uh, Winchester at the same time is on stone with four villagers. He's got three TCs up and running. Juan, does he get more TCs? There's one on the wood line and uh, number three coming up. No, number four even again. Come on the stone. One uh, close to the extra barriers on the wood line. That's a very nice TC using all the advantages that he can get. Also, TC number five coming up. Uh, look at this. This is going to be a big boom for Juan here. Uh, still got amongst us. Still can be a pain in the ass. Even trying to convert a house. Of course, Winchester deleting it before that happens. Mm, doesn't really matter. Winchester walk behind this uh, just in case. Doesn't want the monks to go in. And Winchester um, probably is going to be up, able to get up to Imperial Age faster. But the villager advantage is a big time here for Juan. Uh, that's 11 villagers at this point. Um, Winchester only has 3 TCs. Uh, therefore it's going to be able to go up to him very soon now. Um, only needs a little bit more food. He's got enough gold and he's got the abilities that he needs to. And uh, he should be able to get a castle up before hitting Imperial Age. Um, before that he's doing another TC, number 4 coming in. Juan, um, resources looking pretty good actually and he's going to be able to click up to Imperial Age relatively soon as well. Of course Byzantines again, cheaper uh, cheaper Imperial Age upgrade. Castle coming up for, for Juan in front of the main stone. Um, Winchester might be able to take this down with the early Imperial Age if he can get a castle up and uh, go for traps. But for now Juan is patrolling with the monks here which is very uh, very smart thing to do in my opinion. Uh, just make sure you see everything there is to see and that Winchester can't go out. Winchester is going for a lot of siege, building a castle here, protect the main stone and cover the gold. Uh, of course he can see the monks so he's gonna be careful to not lose any villagers. Mm, Juan not paying attention, Winchester could have gotten there and maybe killed one. Has to go back with the scout now. Also outposts coming in for Juan, he wants to know what Winchester is planning to do. Mm, does he have... oh cataphracts again. Maybe he wants to counter the vote raiders. Interesting Interesting approach here. Mm, 106 against 85 villagers, and Juan got enough stone for another castle. Uh, very good eco for him. Winchester not with the best strategy here, I feel. He's doing pikemen. Maybe he knows that uh, Juan is going cataphracts again, I don't know. Mm, Imperial age for Juan. Almost there, of course, Voder is coming out now as Winchester is an Imperial age. Do you see any upgrades for him? He wants to do the lead Voder maybe? Mm, one ram is there, take the, uh, the outpost down, stone mining coming in for Juan, Winchester is in 92 villages, needs a few more still, but he's waiting with the f the f for the 1200 food of what you need uh, to go elite, or what is he planning to do? Heavy scorpion actually, uh, forget the vote raiders, he's doing scorps and that's also a very nice option here. Mm, against uh, pretty much everything that Juan can uh, can uh, put against him, uh, except for the monks maybe. And if the monks go block printing and uh, maybe elimination, mm, the heavy scorpions might be a tr uh, uh, might be in trouble, might be in danger. I don't know. Elite Catafract for Juan coming in. Does he have second castle? Yeah, on the left hand side protecting the gold. Uh, the first castle is uh, on a trebuchet fire. Mm, very smart play here for Winchester trying to wall trebuchet in, but um, it's not going to be, or he's going to be able to do it actually. Plate burning armor for Juan as well, he's repairing the castle, uh, but I think he should build a counter trap. Uh, he's, Winchester's losing the monks, and oh, <laughs> that was nice. Oh, damn it, one saying thank you. He actually managed to uh, convert the houses as well as the trebuchet, uh, something that he's rarely seen, but trap is converted. Mm, Siege Engineers and Fuhrer Celtic are coming in for Winchester and Winchester got a good amount of heavy scorpions there. He's got enough stone for a second castle. Does he have more? I think he's only got one castle right now. <coughs> Um, Theocracy block printing illumination coming in for Juan as he is uh, up to Imperial Age and wants to get those upgrades, those very important ones. Winchester doing chemistry at the same time. The trebuchet going forward, maybe wants to see what's going on here. But a single trebuchet is going to go down really fast. Uh, which is, uh, Juan won't really care, won't really mind probably. And now with the helmet, yes, and heavy scorpions, Winchester is moving out. Juan has 600 points in a score lead, so 500 points, 600 points more or less. 
Mm, Logistica come in for one as well. Let's see if he can actually s uh, successfully use the elite cat effects against this combination of the Kels. But we can see uh, cat effects going down really fast with the Halberdiers with the um, heavy scorpion fire behind that. Also another trebuchet is up for Winchester. Again behind this house which doesn't belong to him anymore. Mm, not the trebuchet for one. That's the one that he converted. Um, but it might go down really fast. Um, <laughs> is he gonna do it again? Juan could convert this trebuchet again. Mm, converting the first heavy scorpion, second, third, and that's a strong point with the Byzantine monks here. Mm, the heavy scorpions only eight range. Monks with twelve are gonna be able to take down a few of them. But now uh, the elite cataphrax moving in and losing a lot of HP. The heavy scorpions, of course, going down. Better fight actually for Juan. Mm, but Winchester um, forces him to go back. No more helps there. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of fighting for the for the stone starting. Berg's coming up here, but there's cataphract as well for for Juan. Mm, Juan also taking the gold on the right hand side. Actually trying to go for two extra golds, another castle there. Uh, fight happening in the middle where the heavy scorpions are now hitting the monks. Juan needs to micro those and that's really hard at uh, this point in the game. 80, uh, 38 minutes. And Winchester now with a very smart thing to do. He is researching heresy and uh, this is gonna help him a lot in, uh, in terms of uh, heavy scorpion fire against him. Uh, one heavy scorpion there, it's gonna go down now. And Juan still has a good, has, uh, is strong on, on the map. Has map control is taking all the extra resources but uh, Winchester's uh, strong point is later on when he's getting enough siege out and Terracy done uh, he might have a chance here um, uh, production 119 villagers one even 127 uh, to keep the elite caliphate production up uh, nice choke point here the trebuchet is uh, in the way of the elite caliphate and heavy scorpions are hitting those Juan um, by at this point must have realized that uh, Winchester's done heresy. Mm, Helbert is moving in and the Scorpions still hitting everything they can. Of course the monks are healing the elite cataphracts all the time. Let's go from Juan's point of view. How's the elite cataphracts looking? Yeah, there's a few of them going down again. Uh, Winchester sending more help over here, sending more and more heavy Scorpions. The trip is down now, but it doesn't really matter as long as uh, Winchester isn't losing the castle. Mm, a few villagers might go down. The heavy scorpions are gone actually. And Winchester's army is on uh, only 10, 9 military units. That's almost nothing. I think Juan might be able to push in and finish this game at this point. Uh, once the castle is down, uh, the way to the eco is really, really free. To, uh, Juan is free to go, let's, let's take it like this. Um, Winchester not getting these barracks up because they did kind of like kill all the villagers here. This should not have happened. Uh, but Winchester, of course, busy in the middle. And Juan, how many castles does he have? There's one, two, there's one, two. Three castles producing elite cat effects and he's got a lot of them still. Uh, the monks doing a really good job. Healing is, I think, even more important than converting here. But conversions against the heavy scorpions are important at the same time. Albert is moving in again. Heavy scorpions are back. Winchester just doesn't get his army numbers up. He uh, doesn't have the, uh, the buildings to... Uh, to produce enough and calling GG at this point. Look at this. Juan taking game two. Very, very nice combination of the cataphracts again. Monks here probably key even uh, to healing and to converting those heavy scorpions. And Winchester just uh, couldn't get the numbers up and had to call it. Very nice for Juan. Very strong game. I hope you enjoyed this one. Actually it was four castles. Look at this. There's another one. Um, very, very strong game. And see ya in game number three. GG.